this is all cam. And this is not a spring chick. And today, for our editorial, we're going to be talking about... Cost versus value of actually attending something like the Cannes Film Festival. Here's one of the things is we really, really wanted to be in Cannes. Well, you know, we could be there tomorrow if we really wanted to. I mean, we could be on a plane headed for Cannes tomorrow. Because we, but the problem comes is that it would, we would be spending money just to be able to go over there. And that's sort of what is a waste on our side. Well, see, a lot of the people that go over there, you have two different groups of people. Ones that are there that are promoting the films that need to be there. Yeah. Right? Then the other ones that are actually going there to network, which actually, if you're in the entertainment field, is actually very valuable because you're able to rub shoulders with some of these people. Because we've actually mm -hmm. been told that you can network better at cons than you can if you're in Los Angeles because the people... Okay, nobody actually goes to these events. So they go to the Oscars, the Golden Globes, the uh, Screen Actors Guild thing. But other than that, you cannot get most of the people out to anything. Mm -hmm. Not even to see the President of the United States, you can't get them out. So it's more about seeing and be seen and be there for networking. As a media organization... Uh, media organization is just isn't worth the time and effort to go mm -hmm. there because you see virtually no news from anyone. The stuff that we're doing over for... A, on another site is only doing five, ten views on the CANS coverage, which really doesn't justify sending somebody there to get five to ten views. See, here's the part that's really kind of surprising for us is, okay, if we are able to get in, it, it's, it's kind of like being here in L.A., we can set a bar as to what we can get done because we have access to the information. If we're there, to be able to get access to really jump up the coverage is... We have to have... Um, it's rather costly. Yeah, you, know, you have to have extensively more people because what it basically, with what we have, because what's happening is, this, the, you know, everything we did earlier is being done. It's like, what people don't realize, you know, that is a great big, that is a, that's a 20 foot long blue screen behind mm -hmm. us and we put our can symbol on the back of that. That takes processing time to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, and you basically, on the computer that's doing the processing, means that computer is down for an hour to an hour and a half depending upon the length of the thing because all it can do is the processing for that screen behind us. So um, then you, you, it's man hours because the, the man hours is a lot because this, this doesn't just start, you know, five minutes before we show up. This is being, you know, there's no written material. But it, 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 like I said, if, if you calculate the man hours it takes for a news organization to put the project together, the benefits is not worth it, which is why you see very little. In, when, okay, I used to, when I was, there was a time when cons used to be a big deal. You would be live, well, not live, but they would, be, they would be tape delayed from cons showing you this and showing you that. <laughs> Today, the best you get is somebody from the Associated Press. Well, I think part of it is, is there's two things, international interest, one, but the other one is, um, the, the, like we said, the cost versus the benefit. The, they don't have the budget they used to have. Mm -hmm. And you just can't go send armies because we know from what we have been doing this week that we have to have one to two more people than we had originally planned to assist us next year. And I've been looking at some of the entertainment coverage here in the United States and Entertainment Tonight and Access Hollywood, I'm watching the live stuff. I don't see anybody there from their place because in yeah. cons. No, they're, just, they're using crews to pick it up. We've, we've seen that before. Um, uh, such as a major mag a major publication that sends a, a woman, basically, to do one of the events we were at that had never been in the field in her life. And they told her, well, don't worry. You can pick up the crew when you get there. She gets there. I was told that I could pick up a camera crew to do my, um, my interviews for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not here. You know, not now. Mm -hmm. And he said, well, yeah, what they said, all I had to do was, to, you know, and mm -hmm. he said, not here, not now. So she basically, you know, didn't bring anything but heels with her and running around trying to do the old fashioned with a, you know, a little a camera about like that, you know, mm -hmm. one of these palm things and a microphone and it's hooked to the camera, you know, like, well, I don't want she's doing like that. Mm -hmm. So that doesn't work. Mm -hmm. And that's just, it's because they, they don't have the money anymore. But the, We've discovered another horrible thing. God, we're, we're, we're getting, um, people think because of this thing behind us and the fact that we have lots of information about what's going on, that we're there. Mm -hmm. We aren't. You know, it's just, it, it, like I said, $3,000 for a, 
uh, you know, up to three thousand dollars a day for a room. Mm -hmm. that, that isn't worth it, folks. Mm -hmm. And part of it is when we go there, we do literally need to set up an office. It's not like we can just go share a couch with somebody. No, it's just set up all the. You have to. <clears throat> this is. The world today is ran by computers. You have to be able to set your computers up and not break them down. Mm -hmm. And uh, and you know and uh, you also have to have the internet connection. You know, you have to be able to get on the internet to get stuff out. You also have to be able to be. You got to have transportation. The food is the food. Basically, is French food. It's really it's not cheap. So we were figuring a minimum of a thousand dollars transportation cost mm -hmm. while you're there, and a couple thousand dollars on broadband. Broadband, and because um, one of the things that we noticed, unless they're it's at some of the major outlets, the people that we um, converse with, and see, part of it is we know a lot of these people. It's like they are putting things up on their Facebook just about as fast as they can get it. Yeah. So for a lot of them, it's almost like radio silent. There's nothing going on. Yeah. Um, other than a few posts. And then mm -hmm. you also run, what we have seen, you run the risk of if the weather goes bad, and which is what it is at the moment. Mm -hmm. and, and it's been, it's been, they've been, in, I think, uh, Kansas has been facing us off the last couple of years, June gloom like we have. I know. So you have to be there at the moment that everything is perfect. Mm -hmm. And you basically, it means you're basically hanging out all day with your manpower waiting for that moment. Mm -hmm. And because, uh, because actually, Americans don't give a damn about the Cannes Film Festival anymore. They totally don't. The days of the starlets. They, what, what, okay. And I grew up doing surf and sand pictures in the United States. And actually, in westerns. I know I'm a big. Part, I like me in Asia, but I, I sing, I dance, I shoot people. But um, the same women that I grew up with were basically wearing swimsuits that basically nothing more were than you know. Strips of tape across their butts and their Actually, chest. No. Don't want those worn anymore. Oh, I know. And it's the same thing in cons. They basically know there's no more naked starlets jumping out of uh, out of out of wading pools into guys' arms anymore because they've cracked down on it. The PR stuff. Okay, the biggest PR thing that has been done was Sasha Baron Cohen staying on the Dictator in his movie Choked this week in this country. It opened. It it did not open as well as they'd hoped after all the PR. Well, here's the thing I will say, is Men in Black opens up here in the United States on May 25th. Yeah. What surprises me most, because it must mean that they don't think the value is there, is that Men in Black did not premiere at cons. Did not premiere at cons. Okay? So I'm looking at stuff right here. It did it premiere Moscow, Moscow. premiere 14 hours ago. Yeah, to Moscow went to Why? Moscow. Why? They went to London and went to and Moscow. And Men in Black UK gala premiere pictures. Yeah. That was two days ago. So they went to London. And then the Moscow, we could have just hit cons. Because it, but I think it, it has to do with the expectations of what their premiere needed to be if it was there. Well, you know, I, if, hey, put it this way. If I had a movie that cost $200 million, I'd be in cons. I'd be in cons, like splashing it bigger than... Because they basically, they run them over, uh, there's a second thing, there's Marsh du Film, mm -hmm. which is basically where they're selling and stuff. You'd have a premiere over at that, because you get the same people cross mm -hmm. colonization, and they're not, because they do not, because the, um, what's happened is, is that cons basically, it, 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 it became like the Academy Awards become an irrelevant event, but, you know, because the, what happened, the Academy, the people at the Oscars basically chased the audience away and then they're trying to get the audience back. The people at cons basically got old. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, um, uh, they got... Do you think they're too formal now? They're way too formal. You have to be more... Do you think that's part of it? You have to have... It, it, okay, there's too many women that basically spend their lifetime being half naked on the screen that are trying to make certain that nobody takes a picture of them that shows too much of them. But I w I've been to cons before, folks. I mean, I've seen the girl basically, you know, uh, making certain that whatever they had to be seen got seen. I think that's a big difference. It, it's <laughs> no, Right? It, well, because, okay, think about the woman right now. They wear the dress with the slit all the way up, right? And part of it is, it, it's kind of like there's not as much controversy. There's not as much... No. Right? What, Sasha Baron Cohen, like, falling off a camel? Or, or Sean Penn. That, the whole controversy, the whole thing, Sean Penn, with, you know, basically unhappy. Raising money for it. Hey. No, but basically it used to be, okay, okay. The 
they're not even pissed off at the United States this year. I mean, generally... <gasps> what happened? Generally, they're always over there with anti-American <laughs> sentiment. But uh, it, it, it also could be the fact, you know, the major fact that the, the weather, the, the weather, mm -hmm. that uh, the films are really not that great because there's not there's not a lot of buzz for them, and I think the fact that that um, 3D has hit. Oh, you know what? I hadn't thought about that. I mean, because there's not a three, and you're going, what are you talking about? Well, here in the United States, 3D is behind everywhere else in the world. Everywhere okay. else in the world, 3D is numero mm -hmm. uno, and there are, as far as I can tell, no 3D movies available. I don't remember seeing any available. Mm -hmm. Like China, it's huge. Nothing at Con. And the Do China, you really think that could have affected? I mean, yeah, and China pulled back. Uh, Asia pulled back on a lot of its movies, and Asia is a very big contributor. And there's no, like oh. I said, there really are no movies out there. Uh, there's a few movies mm -hmm. which you know they're going to win this, going to win that, that are basically, well, we're defiant. Well, the problem is. There are only a few, whereas French cinema used to all about be defiance. Well, like last year, I'm sitting there thinking, the artist took everybody by storm. I took the Oscars and Golden Globes by storm, too. Yeah. Okay. Um, Magnolia. He, yeah, Magnolia would basically was god-awful controversial. Woody Allen. Woody Allen. But who are, who are the things that are there today? They're generally commercial. Most of them are commercially oriented. And have, okay, the movies that are commercially oriented, which should be there, which would be Marigolds, which is making God off a fortune, Fishing in Yemen, which is doing well, they bypass cars. They, yeah, they never were there, huh? I know. So I guess, you know, we, 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 we'll talk more about <laughs> this next week probably, but I guess until our next editorial next week. Uh, you know, this is old Cam. And this is not a spinning chick, and we're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. For more information, you can go to www. Montebello.net on the net where we're putting our um, production notes for the American film because only Americans are concerned about American films. Also, unless you can read French and stuff, you're really screwed on the others. But, and uh, WW, MBN News Video Web, where all of the shorter stuff and most of the mm -hmm. pictures are going. Yeah. So, of course, stay tuned for our cons coverage wherever you're watching and subscribe to us follow our daily newscast in 3D. And, of course, we've been keeping up to date on our Twitter for, um, for Monty Bubbles as well as on Facebook for Monty Bubbles Network, just to keep everyone posted as to what's going on in cons, because you know what? I mean, there's still, what, another week to go? Another week to go. You know, we've, we've got another, wait, the 20s, actually, it's seven more days, one solo week for us, so uh, the next day we'll probably, the next Sunday we'll be doing our last editorial on what's wrong. And we, you know, it, we're doing it simply from an economic point of view. If you can't, if it, Cost versus value. There is, mm, we got like 200,000 links to things we're doing and we're not even there. And then half the people that contact us, well, I guess you managed to make it there after all. Mm -hmm. We didn't. No, we would like to be there. We would spend the money, but we mm -hmm. know we, we know that we would it would be a total loss. But we also knew some of the challenges for us that would be going there, which would be the internet. Yeah, yeah. and that, that scares us because we live off the internet. So, anyway, thank you once again for over 250 million links on the internet, and stay tuned because you've got